Over the past uh, three years or so, we have had the COVID pandemic, which has uh, also affected uh, Zambia as a country. During that period, as a way of uh, controlling it and also monitoring the pandemic, uh, a number of sequencing facilities have been set up using next generation sequencing, sequencing technology. So what I liked about this uh, particular activity and how the trainers had packaged it is first and foremost, they, they um, approached it from a very basic perspective and then build up the capacity over the, through a 10 day period. So what we, um, and this was achieved by uh, giving examples and more importantly, having hands uh, on activities where uh, the participants were able to work with next generation sequencing uh, data and give meaningful outputs in terms of uh, transmission, disease resistance, the very things which you would need in terms of uh, uh, controlling disease and learning more about uh, diseases in general. And in this particular instance, um, uh, COVID was greatly covered. Uh, participants were able to um, do the sequencing analysis, assemble the genomes, and also annotate them in the sense that they will be able to know the various lineages to which the sequences coming from the hospitals and other testing centers within Zambia can be done locally. None of this uh, would have happened um, off the cuff. Um, NGS technology and sequencing in general is a very new thing in Zambia. Many people don't know much about it and to look for people who believe in the technology and are able to support it, um, you know, is something which, you know, people, re we, in, I, my, myself in particular, have to be very thankful of. So I would just like to take this opportunity of thanking um, USAID through the TB loan uh, project. Uh, in terms of uh, putting together the funds, the logistics, and making this whole um, activity a success. The lessons which we learned and the capacity which has been developed will go a very long way uh, in terms of sequencing, uh, sequence technology analysis. And I really want to thank you once again, AID and TB Loan Project, because the seed you have sown I think is going to um, manifest into wonderful works, not just from the research perspective, but also in terms of uh, having an impact on uh, disease control and surveillance, not just for COVID, not just for TB, but for infectious uh, diseases, infectious diseases in general, as well as non-communicable diseases like uh, cancer and uh, kidney-related uh, diseases. Thank you so much, TB Loan. Thank you, USAID.